Tempo 315 here, and I thought I would do uh, an earlier video than I normally do in the week. Um, this was on my mind. Uh, I've been watching some videos on how to revive <clears throat> NICAD batteries, and I was like, they've got to be an easier way. Some of the guys was using battery, car battery chargers, and... Uh, it just seemed a little dangerous to me, so I was like, I'm going to try this and see if it works. And it did. So I want to show you guys how I did it. So I know everyone's had these rechargeable batteries like this. NICAD rechargeable battery packs. That over the years, they will not charge any longer. Uh, you plug it up. And it won't charge. See, the green light should be flashing, showing that it's charging. But, you know, you over time, like two or three years that you have these, or if they set a long time, uh, you know, they will no longer charge. So, what you have to do is kind of like a jump start them, I guess you call it <laughs> give them a, 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 a little volt uh, voltage charge like a I guess kind of like you know if you have you see uh, people having heart attacks and they their heart stops they uh, hook those things up and, and supply and shock them so you kind of like shocking them back to life and uh, so here's here's what I did um, I took a regular 9 volt battery I made me a little end to wrap around uh, I cut me a, a wire off and made a little loop to wrap around that big end uh, where this has a terminals like this I need something to stick in there so I uh, wrapped the other end onto a nail and then I made me another one there for the uh, the for the positive side uh, what you have to do though is find out which uh, wires are your positive and negative negative and usually like in the case of this one it's going to be the black and the red so and I would say pretty much they're all would be like that but you can find that information out on the on the internet so what you would just do is stick uh, your positive in which is this one stick it in Bear with me. I'm trying to hold my phone and record at the same time. I don't have my other phone set up, so <laughs> just bear with me one second. Let me get this in here. <clears throat> get that that one in, and then we'll hook up the negative, which is already hooked to my battery. make sure it's in there good and making good contact and then just take the uh, your positive in here right here and hit a few times touch it a few times on there about five or six times that'll give it a little charge let me see if I can do this a little better in this this was just a quick video that I was wanting to show everybody. So let me see if I can. <laughs> well, this ain't working out too good. Hold on. I need something to stop it while I do that. Hold on. It keeps wanting to. Okay, there we go. Now, just a uh, few times. One, 
two, leave it on there for three, four, five, six. I'll go one more, seven. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> now, unplug east. And let's plug it into the charger now and see what we got now. Bear with me one second. And there you have it. Now it's charging. I thought that was, I was like, I'm going to try that. I was like, that got to be an easier way than hooking up a freaking uh car charger to them and zap them like that and some of them even had uh, more dangerous ways to do it i mean this may not work on this is like a uh this is a 12 volt 800 milliamp um so i don't know if it would work on like one of the big car drill or the drills batteries but uh i know it works on this one and uh as you can see, it's it's working now, and I thought that was awesome that you, I could just take a regular nine volt and zap it a few times and revive it. So I thought I'd share that information with you guys, and uh, thank you for watching. If you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I uh, thank you, and I'll may make it another video coming this weekend, probably Sunday. So. Bye.